Welcome to the Intellectual Muscle Games World Kitchen. Um, the, actually, we already have all the foods already that we are allowed to eat up front. Um, so what we're going to be making is chicken. No, not chicken. Sorry, we already have a bunch of chicken already prepped. So no chicken this time. We, we're going to make a bunch of peppers because that's kind of the only source of fiber that I have going on. And um, they taste amazing. We're going to be using some Tex-Mex seasoning. I'm going to show you guys that. And oh yeah, so the peppers are going to get done. Um, and we're going to do some rice right now. Some beef is already being done, so that there's nothing you can learn there. But I'm going to show you the main meal prepping of the beef that's going to be done pretty soon. Um, like how I prep beef all the way from start to finish. So, so we're going to, I think we should start off with the rice first. Do we? Should we start off with the rice first? Or? Mm -hmm. I think we should start off with the rice first because that, that takes like 20, 25 minutes. Uh, then this will take me 10, 20, 25 minutes and this will take 5 to 10, 5 minutes to cook. And then the peppers will take, I'm not going to cook the peppers, uh, the chip, the beef, my bad. But the beef will take about 10 minutes to prep. So the whole thing ideally, I think should be like an hour and a half or two hours. Um, but the food's going to last me throughout the entire day. So let's go. Okay. Start off uh, step by step. So if you guys don't have this, honestly, this is like a game changer. This is a, a basic rice cooker. Um, I never uh, measure, actually no, I do. I do measure it from time to time. So the goal here, with the the goal with the rice cooker is basically um, I try and cook like about whoa, 200 grams or something of uncooked uh, because by the time oh yeah this, well, I'm not sure you know. so yeah so I try and cook the 200 grams of uncooked rice because uh, that generally turns out to be like two meals worth. Uh, or maybe if I'm lucky like maybe three meals worth um, so yeah two meals worth maybe three meals worth or something that's yeah it's 200 grams and uh, um, and I like to cook like rice uh, as frequently as I possibly can so I think I'll just turn this off I, I like to cook the rice as frequently as I possibly can because um, I like to eat fresh rice if the rice isn't fresh then it just it tastes fucking nasty. So wash the. I don't want to. Honestly, please wash the rice. I really don't please want to. do that. You guys, he wasn't is, going to wash this his is, rice. No, I wasn't going to do it. I was, That's just gross. Like, sorry. How's that gross? That's unhygienic for ah. you not to for you to eat unwashed rice. I'm still alive, so I'm not sorry. This is the most. Uh, this, this this is the stuff that I hate. This is the part of everything that just wastes time in life, like washing rice and stuff. I mean, do you I wash like, your meat? No. I mean, no, no, chicken I do, chicken I do. Beef you can, like, you can't, you can't really wash, I don't think you're supposed to wash steak and stuff, beef you can Are you wash. serious? I'm not sure. You, you're not supposed to wash steak? I'm not sure. I can understand, of course, no one washes like minced beef, yeah. beef and whatnot. Exactly, yeah. But, like, steak, like, you're not supposed to wash it. I don't think so. I'm not sure though. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Chicken, yeah, you do. Chicken, is I it? wash it. What's up? Oh, okay. No, no, go ahead. Hmm. Is it no. like a cultural stuff? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go that side, eh? That's what we're gonna do. Okay. But yeah, uh, this is this is the part that I hate the most. This is this is just utterly pointless. Like I mean, I don't understand. Utterly pointless. Yeah. You're washing nasty. away all the germs and whatnot in the food, and you're saying it's utterly pointless. How am I washing away the germs? I'm gonna cook the rice anyways. You think the rice is gonna remain? I mean, like the germs are gonna remain over time, and you think this basic water is gonna kill them? Do you know what we're doing here? We're putting in. Uh, we're also, like putting, removing like the extra starch and whatnot. In yeah, it. that's true, but it, I don't, I don't think that that matters that much. To be totally honest, I got, I gotta read more about it, but I don't think so. I, I think it accurate. does. I mean, my ancestors did it. So. Our ancestors also died at the age of 30. So. Um, not my own ancestors. Sorry to say that. <laughs> yes, but sorry. Did. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, that's not true. Uh, they, they, lived yeah, they, they, lived they lived long. Yeah, they lived long. They lived long. Yeah. They re they really, really... Did you, did you not know that uh, people died at the age of 30 years old? Uh, maybe that's like in India, but I don't know. Like where I'm from, Nigeria, like from why, the eastern why part. Think, why? I mean, especially like why my family line. Why do you think they really. Bro, probably oh, hardship all them hardship and whatnot they had nothing to do with like uh their food actually it's even their food that even kept them like yeah going. yeah yeah no i know but why did they die though i That's don't know because they didn't have soap 
Because in, no, no, I'm, you think this is a joke, but this. <laughs> Did you have soap? What does that have to do with anything? You're so ignorant. No, 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 no. But what You're does so that? No, no. What does what does that have? Because to do with they anything? couldn't wash the germs, so they died because they didn't have soap to wash their hands. Everybody died at the age of thirty. Where? Find what country? Where did this happen? Everywhere in the world, because soap didn't no, exist. Not, in, not my ancestors. Sorry. Okay. They had soap. <laughs> They had bath and body works, yeah. boy. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what Africa is going for to be clean. So. Of course. Mm, yeah, yeah. There's poverty in Africa, but that does not mean it's filled with filth, yeah. no. I mean I'm doing my part. I took you in, so I got to do my part. So Okay, who who introduced you to having your bath with soap? My bath with soap? Yes. How do you think Who I'm introduced you to brushing your teeth with toothpaste? See, see, that's another conspiracy. That's another conspiracy. Brushing your teeth is a conspiracy. Brushing one's teeth is a conspiracy. Uh, okay, so now that we have that. So he's not washing the rice? Yeah. Can we use the drinking water? Actually, we don't know how much water we need. I think we're going to need more than this one. That's enough. Is it though? Yeah. I don't know if you know this, but it's not water that cooks the rice. It's actually steam that cooks rice. Mm. I don't know if this is enough because I don't want it to be... Pretty sure it's enough. I mean, and you're measuring spoon or you're measuring cup. I don't know what that is. Like using your hand to measure yeah, it. Like this, is, this is the Asian method of doing it. This is actually how they do it. And Asians cook the best rice, so I'm just going to take their advice on okay. that. Yeah, we're ah. I'm throwing some banana peppers in there. Generally, actually, we put in pickled onions and uh, sometimes we put in. Uh, oh, we have onion though, right? Yeah, but that's not the same. You could put your star <coughs> onions. No, but we can uh, put the pickled onions in there though. We don't have pickled onions. I'm oh, sorry, onions. We can just put onions in there. Chop up an onion because. Oh, you could just put the onions with the peppers and it's gonna t oh, come out tasty. You could grab your star anise. Yeah. Uh, I forgot the salt. I'm gonna put some salt in there too. What salt are you putting? Himalayan salt or regular salt? No, I think we're going to put Himalayan salt. Because my coach wants me to put in Himalayan salt because, you know, India. Because Indian girl, that's a lot of salt. <coughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to do that, that. Put some star anise. I don't even know where it is anymore. Where is star anise? I don't know, it used to be here somewhere. Kitchen's a mess, absolute mess. Wonder whose fault that is. Oh, that's not true. The, the kitchen is not a mess. Kitchen's not a mess. I think it used to be here, but I can't find it. I think it might have run. Or maybe you finished it. Maybe. I know it used to be here somewhere. It used to be straight in front of me somewhere. Right here. Yeah, I can't find it. Anymore. And it's not here either. No, I don't think so. Okay, so that's that. We're gonna put in white rice soup. Uh, so click menu twice, that's white rice, and that is it, GTG. Okay, are we gonna eat chicken after? Because if we are, then I'll put some chicken in there. Yeah, but not now, no? Like you're just, like when it's no, almost done. No, I don't think so, because uh, the chicken can stay there and it can remain hot throughout the entire day. That's not a, there's no issue there. So this is actually so this is actually how I meal prep and like I mean I guess every day but you know when I'm going to the gym <coughs> I'll put the rice in there first thing in the morning uh, and I'll just put like the chicken on top right here that's it and um, one of the extra things now I'm not gonna do it this time but generally I do it uh, is I will put in the uh, I'll put in the peppers up top over here as well so the whole chicken rice and peppers everything gets steamed up together and then and it can just stay warm for the entire day uh, up until like eight hours or something yeah but you're making fresh peppers so you do that to steam it up no yeah, yeah. Do you have an issue no your ancestors have a problem with that your ancestors have a problem with that oh. Okay, so the rice is a starter, guys. Um, all right, so the first thing, actually, this is just basic general stuff, but the very first thing you want to do is always sharpen up your knife. And I already have it. Well, I'll show them once again. 
We got this from. Where you get this from? Some place I like to shop. Uh, the place that sponsored her PR. So, that's, so this is one. So this, this one you, you kind of only want to use once a month. So I mean, I I barely ever use this. So that's that. This is supposed to be used for like weekly basis or something. So I'll use that twice. And then this one's supposed to be used on a daily basis. I'll just use that once. I use that twice. Like what do you mean weekly, monthly? That's the level of sharpening and how much it breaks the whole thing down. Okay. How much it sharpens the blade. Like this is this is if your if your knife is very blunt. Mm -hmm. So that's like pure metal right there. Okay. See, and this, I forget what this is, but this is like sanding stone, I think. Okay. So this sanding stone is probably less dense than probably that one, I think. Okay. Yeah, so this is the densest, this is less dense, this is the most dense. <coughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. <coughs> Actually, a sharp knife is supposed to be the, uh, the blunt knife is supposed to be the most da uh, dangerous thing in the kitchen. I don't know if you know that, but. Because um, that's that. This is our popcorn bowl, pepper bowl, meat bowl. This is, where do we get this from? Ikea. Back home. I, no, Ikea, Ikea. I okay. think this we got from Ikea. Uh, so this big, this is like a big salad bowl. I used to have, this is the same bowl that I used to have from my first prep, where we eat like three pounds of uh, salad. It would all go in here. Oh, this is the whole thing. I'd finish the whole salad bowl and then I'd eat the rest of the food. Um, so this is the exact same thing. We used to mix up beef, chicken, uh, peppers, like literally Veggies, anything you want to mix up, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah potatoes, every, everything you want to mix up is right here. I'm going to put this there. <coughs> okay, and I'm going to start off. And the pet has. Now, the tricky stuff here is to get a bag because we don't have a bag. We're the most annoying thing for the, for the peppers. Okay, you could just grab one of, okay. Which one? Because the way is having to throw every bit of the pepper everywhere just becomes a pain in the ass. So this is how you use this. And there. How many peppers are we making? Uh, I think uh, three. Nine? Um, yeah, so three bags. Actually ten. Actually so ten peppers is going to last you for how long? Honestly that much because, uh, not that much, because per meal I eat one pepper per meal. Okay. So like ten meals, so I'm that. Three, two so to three days. Because I get like one pepper, one pepper, and one oatmeal. So, so, so like ten, five days? Yeah. Five days. Yeah. So, so do you prefer red peppers to green peppers? Um, I honestly don't think that I can taste the difference. I mean, can you taste the difference? I cannot taste I think some of them, like, I, I don't think green is as tasty as the rest. Um, I don't know. I honestly cannot taste the difference between blue, yellow, green. So. I think the orange one is the yellow and the orange ones. Yeah, the taste test. Really? Yeah. I think the yellow one is the most bland. I think. Really? Okay. Like what real? Like it doesn't have a taste. Yeah, it doesn't have a taste. To it. I mean, if you don't, if I don't season these, then they're not gonna have any taste whatsoever. So, uh, I will season them, and I'll show you guys the seasoning too, because the seasoning is very important. You guys, he takes a lot of vitamins. Yeah, so that is uh, omega-3. Uh, that's uh, fish oil. <clears throat> These, this is fish oil. Uh, what is this? Apple cider vinegar. That was for the bulk. I don't need that anymore because while I was bulking, I was eating so much food. I was sick every single day. So the apple cider vinegar actually helps with digesting the food because you have so much volume of food. See, this is kind of, see? I could just take out the inside. The rest is it's not bad. Because this is going to go mix in the same bowl with the other, other peppers. So I don't know if that's a good idea. <coughs> you guys, he's wasting food. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so the uh, up top is omega-3 fish oil. Um, that I take every day in the morning, three caps of those things. Uh, then, then there's like a vitamin D3, D3 and K2 mix on there. Um, I take that every day in the morning. I'm, I haven't found uh, a good uh, vitamin D supplement that's like strong. That's like 10,000 IU or something. I haven't been able to find one forever. I mean, I know GNC used to have it, but I think they don't, they don't ship it anymore. I don't know what the problem is right now. <clears throat> Amazon doesn't have it. No place has like close to five to 10,000 IU. 
Because I don't think it's reco is it recommended those. Um, actually, it is because I've studied vitamin D three like a decade ago. Vitamin D three is 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 otherwise a corticosteroid, which means it's not actually a vitamin. It's one of the only things that actually works like a hormone in the body, and vitamin D three is probably the most important hormone in the body that people don't know. see look this is really really soft here. it's not bad it's just that it's soft and it's cold that made it soft maybe baby. we should uh no maybe we should actually test i mean we should google if soft peppers are good or not oh my god because <clears throat> i'm not sure because i ain't sure about this are you serious you're taking them away i think so okay i'm going to add them back though um that's that what else entertain them be a good mc be a good dj why are you hitting on my beats <laughs> what beats why don't you take a selfie what are you doing it was a selfie. Let me take a selfie. No, 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 no. <laughs> nope. Ain't no way. Okay, ask me something else. What What is something that I think is like really common sense, but um, I never tell people because I think it's really common sense. Because there are so many of those things that you kept on asking me. Uh, mm, mm, oh, what's your take on intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting? Yeah. It works. Um, it works, but the only reason it works, and when I say it works, everybody uses their intermittent fasting to lose fat. That's why you use it. If you're using it on a bulk, you're a fucking retard. Um, people use it on on uh, to lose fat again, to lose weight and to lose fat, and it will work. But the reason it works is not because it's magic, because people actually think it's magic. It's not magic. The thing is, if you just don't eat for eight hours, ten hours, twelve hours, twenty hours in a row in a day, if you don't eat, if you, if you literally are like when you're busy in life, there are so many days that you don't remember to eat food, mm -hmm. right? Because you're just so busy in life. So that's intermittent fasting. And and that's the reason why you're not hungry because you're so busy. You have other things, things occupying you. What's up? You have other things occupying you. You have other things that are important to do, exactly. So you're not thinking about food. You're not sitting at home thinking about food. Um, that's the easiest, one of the biggest tricks, the best tricks in the world is actually to not stay at home when you're dieting. Because if you stay at home, then you're sitting around and doing nothing and you're always going to be thinking about food and you always, always have access to food. But if you're always busy, you'll never be able to sit around and do nothing to give like the food done. So the whole point of intermittent fasting, isn't that intermittent fasting is some cheat code or something. It's just uh, common sense. Like if you do it at the right, if you, uh, if you just stay away from food for 20 hours or something, you will automatically not eat enough food and create a calorie deficit. So do you think you burn some things in the body, like uh, like your body now starts to consume the already stored up fat and the already stored, stored up carbs and whatnot? Well, yeah, but that's how fat loss works. Okay. That's how all fat loss works. So I don't, I don't cut these even more. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to force this down and then it'll just break by itself eventually after so this is how to do it i don't break this even more because otherwise it just takes forever to get this stuff done um but yeah so the how do you lose fat you lose fat when you when you um when you eat less calories than what your body requires to maintain itself right that's how you lose fat mm -hmm. so in intermittent fasting if you're not going to be eating for 20 hours then it's very hard to eat way too much food in a very short amount of time. And especially if you're going to be eating healthy food, right? So if you're going to eat chicken and rice, like all my food is chicken, rice, chicken, beef, oatmeal, and stuff like that. So if you're going to be eating whole, whole foods, yeah, whole foods, single ingredient, natural, unprocessed foods, then the volume of the food is this much, mm -hmm. right? But if I eat one, so like all the chicken that I think we're going to eat, I mean, I'm going to eat like this bowl. Where's that bowl? I don't have it this big of a bowl of chicken and rice and peppers and that big bowl i think ends up to be like 500 to 600 calories or something like the entire thing comes out to be 500 calories or something like that uh where is it i think it's here 600 691 something like that um which I, honestly even that's like pretty high because because 120 calories are from my oil um yeah so so that's about 600 calories but if you eat one slice of a pizza 
like one slice of pizza, I think that's like 300 calories, I think. Mm. It, I'm, not, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might even be up to 500 to 600 calories. So one slice of pizza is like this much. One slice of pizza is not 600, it's about 270 to 330. Yeah, about. It depends on, depends on what kind of pizza you're eating. Okay. Right? It depends on what kind of pizza you're eating. Because if you're eating whole, whole meat pizza, which is what everybody eats, then it's going to be heavier because meat's going to be heavier. And you also have, and it also depends on the amount of cheese that you're eating on top of it as well, because the cheese is the source of fat, right? Okay, so basically what you're seeing is we intermittent fasting, like, you don't think it's just because you're eating less. Yeah, it's because you have set up a time constraint, which is why you're eating less. So what if you're doing intermittent fasting and you're still in a calorie deficit? No, that is what you do. You eat in, in, a, in a intermittent fasting and you are in a calorie deficit. Your question should be, what if you are in intermittent fasting, but you're not in a calorie deficit? Yeah. You're not going to lose weight. Yeah, but there's this guy that said something about his study, like because you're, uh, it's taking about 15 to 16, let's say your intermittent fasting is about 16 hours, like you're doing 16 eats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 16, those 16 hours, your body, because you're not getting any food that time, your body now starts to break down the already stored up fat and mm -hmm. carbs and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Depending on when next you eat again. Yeah. So won't you be losing weight while your body is breaking down all those things? Like, no, won't because, you be losing no, fat? No, because it will only, no, because if you eat in a surplus, your man maintenance is 3,000 and you're eating 3,500. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if, if you're not eating food for 16 hours because in the four hours that you eat, you've you been eat, able to. Yeah, you're gonna eat more fat. exactly. Like it's very, and most people do that, no? But most like I mean I think one of some of the best examples would actually be gamers, video yeah. gamers. Yeah. Because they eat like trash. They won't. They will. You you see me game right? When I game, I don't eat food, right? So I won't eat food for hours and hours and hours and and then eventually at the end of the night I'm gonna be very hungry. And then I'll eat chocolate cake and pizza and whatever. We'll give me to eat like French fries and pizzas and all the kind of Uber Eats and all that kind of stuff. So in their one meal, they're getting 2,400 calories. I have a video on this. Why teenagers should never lose, why teenagers should never diet. And um, this 14 year old kid was, who was extremely overweight was saying, uh, I do intermittent fasting and uh, I eat 1,800 calories a day. I think that's what he said. He wanted to use drugs to lose weight. And I was like, I, I, he, I eat, um, what did he say? Like uh, I don't yeah I do intermittent fasting and then I eat 1800 calories a day and then I checked his uh, his calorie intake because I asked him for a recall I asked him what do you do for 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 food he orders Uber Eats like three times three times he orders Uber Eats three times in his first Uber Eats meal he has a um, but how does he order Uber Eats three times if he's doing intermittent intermittent fasting don't ask me how his structure goes basically he ordered three times and uh, so that's the other thing is like people say. What they sure. understand, but they don't actually know what they're talking about. Okay. Right. That's the whole thing. Like people say what they understand, but they don't really know what they're talking about. But the best part is, his first meal was like Burger King or something, which had like two to three burgers in it. No, two. Sorry, two burgers in it, and uh, two orders of fries, um, apple pie, and a non-sugar-free drink. So I, I literally just pulled up the one large order of fries. He has two large orders of fries with the food, right? One large order of fries was like 600 calories. So he was eating 1200 calories in only French fries in the first meal. Not even talking about the burger, not even talking about the apple, blah, bullshit, whatever the fuck it is, right? And that, that was his first meal. So he was easily eating over 3000 calories in the first meal, right? And then from there, he has one more meal at night and then, oh, sorry, two more meals uh, uh, at the end of the night or something, right? And then he, and he thinks he's eating 1800 calories. Like this is very easy to find out. Like, I mean, if this guy has so much confidence in saying that I'm doing intermittent fasting and I'm eating X many calories, that's very easy to find out. It took me less than two minutes to figure out how much he was eating. So people literally have no idea even how to find out where to study or to do any of those kinds of things. It's just there. People are just parroting what somebody else, what some other lean guy or good-looking guy or something says. They're just gonna parrot what whatever that, whatever that guy says. Um. Yeah. So basically, intermittent fasting doesn't do jack. It's just the fact that do you eat less during yeah. because you have like a less window of time to yes, take yes. in more. Okay. Yeah. Your food selection is gonna be your food selection and the amount of food that you eat is gonna be the major. Uh, and, and when I say amount of food, I mean like in calories. Is going to be the major major decider of of uh, whether you're going to lose fat or not. Hmm.
so yeah, intermittent fasting is part of the relief market list. <clears throat> okay, so what's your take on like, on a, uh, let's say you're doing a particular program. I really need to do some yoga, man. I keep doing these stretches thing, right? I got to, I really got to do some yoga. Okay, what's, so what's your take on like, how long do you think your program should be for? A program should be for? Yeah. Uh, so this is interesting because um, you know, your program, you've been running it for years. Right? You've never changed your program, right? I add some things. I add them. Um, yeah, I add. Yeah, but I mean, I, I guess. still do the same things. Like, of course, like on my leg days, I do squats. I start with squats. Yeah. Then I go to lunges. Then I do deadlifts. Then I do leg press and leg coil. That's a lot of members. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so I feel like um, both exercise selection as well as exercise programming. Programming is changing the reps, the set schemes, the kind of methods you're doing, a drop set, super set, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. The rep tempo, you know, 414, 424, 012, all that kind of stuff. All that shit should change. Okay, so what's, what do you mean by zero, tempo? Like 014, 412, like... Um, 014 means uh, explosive, like um, if I'm doing a bicycle, like boom, explosive concentric, that's zero. And then one second to hold, like squeeze, hold the squeeze up here, and then take one, two, three, four to go down. Stay that again. So zero, one, four is concentric, isometric, eccentric. Okay. Concentric is where you're squeezing the muscle to bring the weight up. Okay. So that's zero is like boom. It's like that fast. Okay. And then one second, the uh, isometric is like to hold here. Okay. Under tension, right? Holding it under. So there's two ways you can hold it. Like you could just keep it here and not have the muscle flex, and then it'll stay because of the joint. Like this, the stress will go on the joint. Okay. But you could actually keep it here. You know what I mean? Like on the muscle, you keep tension on the muscle for one second. So that's the one second there. And then, um, and then you take four seconds to like relax and then bring it back down. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that's zero, one, four. One of the best methods of training for mind muscle connection is actually the four, one, four. And I mean, I came up, came up with it myself, like as a drill, but it's, I mean, anybody can come up with it. It's very simple to be honest. But it's the same thing is that you take a bar. Oh, sorry, four, 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 not four, one, four. Sorry, four, four, four. Take a bar or whatever. If you're trying to train the mind muscle connection in your bicep, if your biceps don't grow, this is how my biceps grew the biggest that they grew in the past two years. Simply because I didn't know for the first 14, 13, 14 years, I wasn't doing mind muscle connection for my bicep. So in just the past two years, three years, I've grown easily an inch and a half, two inches or something. And they, and the best part is they look amazing. Like they, it's it's not even just. It's not even just how big they are in terms of circumference. Like my, my arms are now some of the biggest parts of my body, which for 14 years, they were the smallest parts of my body. And um, and yeah, this is how I figured it out because previously I was doing purely brutal strength, 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 strength stuff. Um, so what you're supposed to do is hold the barbell and, or dumbbells, whatever you want. Take four seconds to go up. So I'll go like one, two, three, four. So even through my shirt, you can see them flexing, right? Like you can see, I'm trying to like pulse, I'm gonna pulse the biceps, like one, two, three, four, right? And I'll stay here and I'm gonna pulse, pulse once again. It's like one, two, three, four, right? And I'll come back down again. One, two, three, four. It's almost like you're electroshocking, electrocution shocking the muscle because you're literally trying to understand flexing the muscle. Like that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to flex, understand how to flex the muscle against resistance, right? That's what you're trying to do. I have a video on this on uh, not a long extended video, but like a short Instagram reel video, which I fucking hate. But I have a short Instagram reel video on um, on doing the thing against music because that's the most fun thing to do. It's like you, like I'm listening to trance music. It's like talk, 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 talk. It becomes like really fun. Like when I'm doing this stuff, I, I flex the muscles uh, against music or something, like with, against resistance against music or something. And the best part is you will feel the best pump that you've ever felt. That thing, the 404 will not act, 444 will not build muscle. But what it does is it helps you to learn how to contract your muscle under, under you know, like under your influence. Like, a, like you are activating the thing. The weight doesn't need to be doing it. You are activating the muscle. So once you do that for a full week, first, you're going to feel more sore than you've never felt before. Secondly, you're going to feel soreness in muscles you've never felt before. Like I never felt soreness in my anterior deltoid in my life. 15 years of training. I never knew what anterior deltoid soreness meant. But as soon as I started doing that, I actually felt like only this muscle, the anterior delt muscle being sore. Um, so yeah, so do that. And then after you do that for one week, then you go back to your normal movements. But now your body will automatically know when to like, you know, throughout the move, it'll like flex through the bicep as opposed to like just trying to push it up, if that makes sense. 
So the mind muscle collect connection, what does it do like? The mind muscle connection is mm, like activating. Yeah, mind muscle connection is basically activating. It's 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 like it's one of those. It's actually a, like a very uh, in a weird manner. It's like a spiritual. Kind of, are you getting my face or not? Yeah. So in a weird manner, it's like a spiritual kind of thing. Actually, seriously. So you know how people keep going about God and God is looking out for me and this and this. All the stuff that's in your head, right? Like God is looking out for me and God wants me to be lucky here. Or God is giving me karma because I did something bad. You know, it's all that shit's in your head, right? Mm -hmm. Similarly, the mind muscle connection kind of thing is something like that. Where you're like, I'm literally thinking about my bicep growing or activating or something while doing the same move. Right? So you can do the same move. I can do the same push like this. I can literally force myself with the same push like this and I can also, when I'm doing the same thing, also think about concentrating and flexing all of my pecs to do the exact same thing. And like if you just do it, like I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a, there's like a difference in, in how the muscle flexes or something. So it's almost to some extent like a spiritual thing, um, but it literally, it's, it's been tested, it's been scientifically tested and they only tested it in the past five years or something. Five. Five, maybe ten years, but they only tested in the past five or so years, and it makes the biggest difference. Honestly, it, it, mind muscle connection will give you some of the biggest size difference gains, some of the best look gains that you will literally be able to pump up your muscle and look at it way better uh, because now you you actually concentrate on flexing the muscle. So it doesn't increase growth or what? No, no, it does. It does. Hundred percent. It does or it doesn't? It, yes, one hundred percent. It does. But you just said it doesn't. No, I didn't say that. What did I say? I thought you said it doesn't grow, like it doesn't give you good. No, the 4-4-4. Four, four, four oh, is, okay, so is that's a, a drill, different thing. It's a drill to train your brain how to flex the muscle. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. The 4-4-4 four, four, four is not enough strength and enough weight and all that stuff to give you all the tension. But that it's a drill. It's like when you do empty, when you do empty barbell squat, you, your body weight squat or something, when you're starting off, you're training how to do the squat. The empty barbell squat is not going to give you gains right you have to put in like a certain amount of load to get the, the get the result but the empty barbell squat is teaching you how to do the movement and technique the form. yeah so that when you now put it under weight now the right muscles will work and you won't actually get injured but when you're doing the 444 don't you use actual weights i do i do i do i definitely do but it won't be anywhere close to what will be my working weight if that makes sense oh okay so if i can do 100 pounds normally for the 444 i will need like 20 pounds or 30 pounds or 40 pounds or something like that okay right so there's a huge difference in a 100 pound weight and versus a 30 pound weight right yeah so but i'm training it under 20 pounds just to learn how to do it okay okay so it's like okay okay gotcha yeah it's a drill yeah. it's like it's a training technique okay right so the 444 is different from the mind muscle connection it's a drill to train the mind muscle connection. Yeah, but it is different. Yes. Okay. okay. You can use the mind muscle connection in any tempo. Okay. Literally any tempo you can use the mind muscle connection. I just came up with a 444 drill to train the mind muscle connection. And I've had guys, um, like 37 year olds who've been training forever and you know, had uh, unbelievable shape even before. Even before, I've had other guys that are young, you know, like uh, 17, 18, 19 years old. All of these guys, I've had these guys do the 444 and they were all like, dude, I'm just, I'm so sore. I've never felt my arms like this. I've never felt my body like this. Um, it's, it's just unbelievable. Okay. It just makes the biggest difference. Like even right now, I was playing this other game. I'm, I was playing this game called Sifu. Mm -hmm. And it's like a, it's like a purely skill-based game. It's not, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a purely skill-based game. So what I was doing right now for the past two hours or whatever I was doing, I wasn't even playing the game. I wasn't actually like lifting the weights, building the muscle. I wasn't actually playing the game to like make progress. What I, I was literally just training one thing, one button. That's it. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Literally just one button. I'm watching him do a move and I'm deflecting at the right time, right? I'm waiting for the timing, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. like he's hitting me, but I have to do it at exactly when he connects with me. That's when I have to deflect. What's the correlation between your game and the... It's a training a drill. It's okay. a training drill. So now that, I, now that I've learned how to do that drill perfect, I, and I improved, I cannot explain it. I think I improved like 10 times compared to like how I was playing for the past three days in just two hours. Mm -hmm. Because I was literally training that one drill. Right? Okay. Now when I go back to playing the game, now it's second nature. I don't need to think about it. Now okay. when I'm in the game, that, that drill is like, you know, I don't need to think about it. So now my game improves. Okay, so that's what the like the whole time. the whole muscle, mind muscle connection thing. Yeah, okay. Does pretty much. okay. All right, so you guys, I don't know if you saw what he did. He added. Yeah. Uh, 
some Tex Mix. Did you start this? Yeah, I did. Tex Mix and some Cajun seasoning <laughs> to the peppers just to give it the kick. Yeah? Yeah. And I, did you put some salt in it? Um, no, I didn't. Don't no? you that? Do you want okay. to, Yeah, you could just I add. Yeah. Oh, but the Tex Mix and the rest, they have salt in it. So yeah. that's. But no, I think I'll just put extra because my guy wants me to eat as much salt as I can, right? Okay. So he also takes salt, like. Yeah, every single meal um, I'm adding in, so here, the first meal is three grams of salt, uh, additional on top of all the food that I've already had. Second meal is two grams of salt, and the third meal is again three grams of salt. And I, I don't really even use it in package or something, I, I just, I literally just smash it, honestly. Nice. <laughs> What's up? Okay. I'm just showing them like the whole... Oh yeah, so even the pre-workout has two grams of salt in there too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. And even the post workout has it. I don't know how I'm gonna get that, but one gram of salt. Is it just any salt or? Uh, no, he. This guy wants me to do Himalayan salt, but I mean any salt should work. But I'm doing Himalayan pink salt. So. Yeah, you could grab it. Like he did this from Walmart, so that it's great value. But you could grab any Himalayan salt out there. Then a hack that he didn't introduce was this. I think you've right. done like this is like a life changer, this, like yeah, a, a game, game changer, changer yeah. like. It literally makes everything easy. You yeah. could use it on your peppers. You yeah. could use it on even onions. plantains, onions. Yeah. Basically, veggies. Like it's, it makes everything really fast, and it's very easy to wash as well. I would assume you can do it for chicken too, but I never do because we've never tried yeah, it. Never but tried yeah, chicken. I would assume it works for chicken. It's, it's, it, it makes our life very easy, you yeah. guys. And we got it from where? Amazon. It's one of our Amazon, Amazon finds. Amazon, even like 30, 40 bucks maybe. Yeah, it's very affordable, and they have bigger ones as well. So yeah. yeah. Okay, and so now he's going to start prepping the peppers, and yeah. We'll yeah, I'm going to do uh, the peppers now, and then after that, uh, I'm going to take out the beef. Because I'm going to the beef. When, when the peppers are getting done, I'll be prepping the beef. By the side. He's going to show you how he preps the beef. His beef, yeah, like, the, <laughs> like they're the beefiest. Like, it's so tasty. So this is what? Lean ground yeah. beef. What's the difference between the lean and extra lean? It's just like the fat in it, yeah? The fat content, yeah. But extra lean is very not tasty. It's not as tasty as, yeah? Not at all. Uh, so he's still keeping everything healthy, but yet, I mean, he, no one wants a boring or a bland meal. Yeah, so. exactly. So I'm, I'm mixing up like, uh, I'm trying to make it like doable because my diet's going to go for at least six months or mm -hmm. six months or eight months or something. Oh, we should have grabbed more eggs. Uh, do we need, I think two is enough, I think, right? Okay. I think too, huh? So, in terms of eggs, I hear people say white and brown eggs. Do you think there's a difference uh, between Yeah, white? so, what's that? One of them is like some dinosaur egg and one of the other is like a different dinosaur egg. He's just joking. We actually watched that, no? Right? We did? Yeah. Where? I don't remember that. Me and you watched it together. We responded to that reel, that girl, vegan, vegan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Vegan, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um... Is there a difference between brown versus white egg? I mean, I'm, I mean, maybe uh, I'm sure there might be, but I really don't know. I don't think there's a. But I prefer brown eggs. Back home, we I, I, like back home. I never, we ne we don't have yeah, I mean, white eggs. Even I study when I studied it last. Here's what happens to me is I don't remember the details of the things. I just remember at the end is like okay, eventually it said this is better than this because this right boom that's it. So that that's how I realized okay brown, brown uh, eggs are supposed to be better than. Um, White eggs, but white is it different? Yeah. Is it negligible or like there's a huge? I mean, yeah, it's negligible. Honestly, it's negligible. If you don't, if you don't have it or something, so you don't get stressed about it. So he just added some extra virgin oil. Yeah, I added some extra virgin. Uh, I added some extra virgin olive oil in this. And there's also some extra virgin olive oil in this. Um, because I got I got to get in a, a bunch of olive oil anyways, and most of this will also just get cooked up into the food. So why did you use olive oil? Why didn't you use your av avocado oil? No, you can't use it because when I make the burgers, I'm going to use avocado oil. Um, extra virgin olive oil here is because I, ideally the temperature is not that high. Extra virgin olive oil has a very low melting point or steam point, heat smoke point. point. Yeah, heat mm -hmm. point. So this will just burn away. So you won't even be able to get the benefits of what you want. This thing ideally, uh, so this, I just put this into the chicken and rice. Like I put the rice, I put the chicken, and then I'll put the extra virgin olive oil on top. And yeah, drizzle it on top and then microwave it. Okay. Um, this is supposed to be had like almost directly. Uh, must uh, avocado oil is uh, I use that because it's the highest smoke point oil, so it doesn't burn anything. It never burns. It helps to cook everything, and avocado oil is very 
healthy. Yeah. So that's it doesn't that. burn really. No, it's oh. the highest smoke. It's like four hundred degrees or something. Mm. Is this good? I think so. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, the sizzle. Nice. It's good enough. Ooh. Yeah. This is gonna be a while. This is gonna be probably <coughs> ten minutes or something. Yeah. Um, ideally, we put on the fan, but we're not gonna put it on because it's gonna you know, yeah, disrupt the noise. You need yeah. to, but no, no, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Open that at the end. Um, we use this to mix it up. But again, right now there's so much so, we don't need to get. Yeah. It'll basically lose some water and lose some juices, and it'll keep becoming soft, and we'll just keep mixing it up. Yeah. So yeah, the whole point of this is because I mean, I use 70 to 80 grams of peppers, like this pepper, cooked pepper, uh, in every single meal. Uh, this is my only source of fiber, so this is and it's really tasty, honestly. Like this, this with chicken and rice is like unbelievably tasty. Yeah. So. Um, I feel you could even have this with bread and eggs. I don't know. I don't know if you can have peppers with eggs and bread. I think it might be tasty. I mean, or you could even have like a wrap with it. Yeah, but I think it will need to be smaller then. Okay, so this is done. Uh, now we're gonna go for the beef. And I think do we have onion? I'm yeah, we do. Onion into the beef, right? We have some onion. Yeah, because we're thinking about putting the beef onion in there too. Oh, okay. You want the onion? Yeah, give me. Uh -huh. We got some beef. More beef. How many pounds of beef is this? I think this is. I don't know actually. I really don't know. How much is this? This is 20 kilos of beef. With 13.21 per sorry, this is 20 dollars for 13.21. Uh, so it's like one and a half, right? So 1.5 kilos, so about three pounds. Okay, three pounds, 3.5 pounds, 3.5 pounds, probably. So, and we'll go here, we'll put on right after. Um, okay, that's done. The onions are here. The rice is cooking. I don't know if you guys could see the steam. Yeah, so the rice will cook and then it'll just stay there. The rice, once it gets done, I don't even move it, I don't move it, I don't touch it. The rice cooker is so good, it just keeps it there for the rest of the day. Take out this. The It'll come out by itself, I think. Um, yeah, so once the rice gets done, I don't touch it. I try and finish the entire rice in the same day. Most of the times a little bit gets left. Uh, so then I will cook the next rice the next day and I will put this one um, and then I'll put this one into the uh, okay so back to the question we were asking was sure. uh, like how long do you think a program should last for as a beginner let's even start with that oh so actually that's a good one as a beginner my program I mean of course I'm gonna say that my program is the best in the world obviously um, but the reason my program is the best uh, and by the way if you haven't already watched it because it's not out yet but I'm putting out my entire program out for free. The entire program with all the client testimonials, all the client transformations, everything that you've ever seen, I'm putting the entire thing out for free. Um, obviously it can't be customized, like you're gonna have to do the customizing yourself. I can only give you like the basic template because everybody's requirements are obviously different. But the basic, if you do that thing, if you do that program, that, that base template that I'm giving you, you can run that minimum for three to four months. Uh, otherwise, honestly, uh, some guys have been running it for two years. You can run it for two years, three years and stuff. Like, there are guys that have started off with like absolutely no weight, never, you know, lifting any weights or something. And they've gone up to like five pounds, uh, five plate squats and stuff like that. It's like ridiculously high numbers or something on that one program. That same program, I not only do I use it with these guys, but I also use the same program with guys at Harvard. I use the exact same program with guys at, at McMaster. And obviously everybody's results are different, right? Because their genetics are different. But the Harvard guys, they started off at three plates for deadlifts. And in 12, uh, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, I guess I stayed there for five months. In 16 weeks, they were already at five and a half plate deadlifts. Nice. So it's for everyone, both beginners, intermediate and advanced. 
Um, so it's actually a beginner to intermediate based program. Okay. But here's the thing. The reason why I run it for everyone at the start, I'm running it myself. Mm-hmm. I'm right now, I'm running it myself. And I think you, uh, you know, I'll put these real videos out and everything else. And you've seen that I'm, I'm up to a five, and a five plus plate squat, hack squat. Hack squat, yeah. So that's new strength, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's the same thing. You want to like go from hypertrophy to strength, the strength to maybe endurance if you want to or not. Endurance and lactic acid, and then come back to hypertrophy once again. This is the main base, right? So if this is like a whole year, like half of the year should be this at least, right? But the other two, you can like cycle between these because then this, the results you're going to get in this are going to be great. So that's hypertrophy. That's hypertrophy. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so beginners, I beginners to intermediates, which I consider almost everybody to be beginner intermediate because even you haven't done it. How long have you been training? Uh, training? Strength training, I would say probably five years or six years. Uh, yeah, so even if you start doing my program, I can guarantee I'm going to get you to like a three plate squat, four plate deadlift. I mean, you're going to make ridiculous gains. It's, that's the thing is like most people don't like to be called beginners, which is very funny because if you're a beginner, you make the fastest gains in anything in life. Yeah. Right? Like if, if I'm a beginner at piano, I'm going to make so much faster gains than somebody that's been training for 10 years, right? Mm-hmm. Because they're going to need hundreds of hours. Whereas if I put in 10 hours, I'll be very, very, very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone is asking, what's the name of, what's this dish called? Basically just their fried veggies. So yeah, so we're separately uh, making these things. This is peppers and the peppers are like a source of fiber that are going to be going into all kinds of, um, all kinds of meals. Rice, yeah, uh, potatoes. Rice that's rice getting done right there. There's chicken already done on top of that. And this is beef, I'm wrapping the beef right now. So, and the beef can be used for chicken and rice, uh, sorry, beef and rice, or it can be used for burgers. And I think we're gonna be making burgers because we have burger buns and stuff like that. Uh, So we're gonna be making burgers. So there's no no name to it, to be extremely honest. Uh, And everything that I've learned, um, of course I have like my own remixed versions of everything, but like everything that I've learned, I've learned from HelloFresh. So if you guys don't shout know out to HelloFresh. Yeah, shout out to HelloFresh. If you guys don't know how to cook or something, which I, it's the same thing once again. I'm, I'm, the first thing I'm gonna say is that you don't know how to cook. Who? Everybody. Nobody knows how to cook. Uh, excuse me. I know how to cook. <clears throat> and, and it's because of attitudes like this is why you don't ever learn. <clears throat> so, what? so, <laughs> so the point is, instead of people being like, "Yo, I know how to cook," I would just be like, "Yo, just." I mean, get. you don't know. How, no one knows how to cook everything. Like HelloFresh opened us to like new ideas of. Like new We're things not even to try about out. You. Why are you taking it personally? We're not even talking about you. I'm well, trying to teach these guys how to cook. Oh, whatever. Why are you? Why, why are you going? <laughs> to, I know how to cook. Or how to cook. Anyways, Hello Fresh, like it opens you up to many yeah. ideas, like different things you could try out. Very exactly, tasty, yeah. very time efficient. Like literally the best thing the best. ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's like just run that for like two months and fresh, your life you will, will change. Yeah, you will learn every single. And thing. they're very healthy meals as well because and they have like healthy. yeah options all, all if foods. you want like low carb yeah. and yeah and they will literally teach you everything you want to learn how to make a pizza they'll literally teach you how to make a pizza yeah if you want to learn how to make like tacos they will teach yeah. you how to do that like literally yeah. step by you step you want to make thai food they will teach you how to make yeah. thai food you want to make indian food indian food they literally teach you every single thing that you want to learn how to make okay so back to the uh discussion we are or the conversation we are having sure. so you feel like three to six months or if you run the basic beginner program, oh, are you talking about any program or which program? Any program. Um, I would say the minimum you would want to try and run a program would be four months. Minimum. Minimum. Okay. Three to four months minimum because three is even three is too low. I feel like three to four months, and um, on the higher end probably eight months or something. Because after that you, I, I feel like you definitely need to change things up to feel the difference and such. Yeah, like in terms of change things up, is it like com- completely dump the program or switch things up? I would personally completely dump, I mean, uh, I would personally completely dump the program, but if you don't want to do it, then you can you can completely change the programming. Uh, by that, what I mean is, my last program, I almost ran it for like a year. Uh, but what I changed is, initially when I started off, we were doing 11 to 8 reps or something, something, 11 to, you know, 8 to, 8 to 12 reps, something like that. And then later on, I moved the same program, but I started doing it to 15 to 20 reps or something. And then the same program, by the end of it, then I started moving into 4 to 8 reps or something. The exact same program, but like uh, obviously different rep schemes and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe here and there I changed the... Uh, the uh, but personally, there are some programs I just do, like I've been doing them forever and I don't think I can stop doing them. 
like squats like i'm going to keep doing squats like for the rest of my life yeah. god willing like my legs are still strong the only thing is okay at this particular month i'm doing a plate plus very soon i'll start doing two plates comfortably well you say that but you've been saying that for the past t- three two years since we've been oh uh, that's not true no it is bye bye that's no, not true covid happened and i stopped going to the gym and yeah oh, i lost oh, some shit. of my game games oh, and shit. yeah anyways but Bullshit. there are some programs that you just keep doing like you don't stop them like it's progressive overload you keep adding more to it no uh yes yeah then there are some that you add like in terms of five by five What's up? like you're still doing the same programs but you're, now you're going into heavier shit like you're doing five like your hack squats yeah you do five reps of it yeah. or five sets that does not mean you've stopped doing hack squats uh, like it's still your program you just changed like so now you're confusing people by programs and exercises. They're both different. Oh. What are you talking about? I'm talking about exercise. Exercise, yeah, because a program will have exercise selection. And you can change exercise selection in the same program too. Like you can do the exact same program, but change just one exercise selection. Oh. Then I'm mixing things up then. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, what I mean is like an exercise selection. What are you asking me now? So I'm asking you, like, how long can you keep doing it? Some people, like, they'll be like, oh, I was you saying... Can, you can do the same one forever, but the thing is, if you would definitely, be- even if you have a favorite, let's say you have a back squat favorite, mm-hmm. uh, you would still benefit after running it for six to eight months, when you, you know, when you cannot, when you cannot make progress anymore, mm-hmm. or you just get bored too, they, even that's fine. But you, when you just cannot make progress anymore, you're fighting so hard, you know, you're going weeks on end, you're barely making progress, and every time you're failing and everything else, then change up the exercise selection because your body and everything else is now just so tuned to that movement. It's the same thing. It's like a pianist who's trying to learn uh, and trying to get better, right? I mean, in fact, he, the pianist, in fact, might actually learn a little bit more by just changing the instrument that he's playing to learn something else, let's say guitar or something, because now his fingers are going to have to move in a different way. Mm-hmm. So if you're doing a back squat, now it will actually make, change, it make sense to change to a front squat because you've never done a front squat in your life before. So your quads are gonna burn a hell of a lot more. You may not have any soreness in your glutes. Your hamstrings either may kick in or may not kick in at all. Um, you may have no ba- lower back soreness because you know front squats are like standing almost like this, back squats are like this. So it'll completely change the entire thing. And then you keep making progress on that move. I think this is I think this is done by the way. Okay. Uh, and then you can start making progress on that move, that exercise, and uh, and then you can flip back to whatever you want to do again after. So then I, I would I would change and run that new exercise or something for like eight to 12, 12 weeks, eight to twelve weeks or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's what's happening right now, right? Like I'm doing hack squats uh, on five by five, and I want to keep because I'm still making strength gains, and I know that I'll keep on making strength gains. I don't want to stop right now. So I asked my coach to uh, so that, that we can uh, okay, we're good with this. So the peppers are done. Tasty, tasty. Yeah, but I think it's gonna go like this. Yeah. It seems like it's done, right? You could taste it. Yeah. Is Fine. he missing something or? Perfect. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Did we put this out in there or no? Mm, I think I really so. don't remember. Mm. I think it's not as tasty. You could just... This is more salt than that. Yeah. <coughs> I'm trying to get an apple salt as well as well anyway, so... Okay, that's enough. Uh, is this pink salt? Mali and pink salt, yeah. Okay. What is the same? What's that? Pink salt and Himalayan salt. Yeah. Oh. Yes, it is. Yes, so it was like a good idea making, putting the rice first. It would take yeah, time because, to Yeah, exactly. Cook. Because the rice will take a little bit of time to cook. And, and, the, and the other thing is, by the time I'm done cooking all this stuff, I'm going to be hungry and tired. So I just want some food to eat at that point. I can't wait even more to prep food or something. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, cool. Movie, movie. 
generally you're supposed to let it cool down a bit but sure Yeah, it doesn't look that much anymore because, of course, it has dried up. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's gonna dry up even more. So I think um, I'm not gonna keep this bowl. Yeah, it's pretty big right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Done. That's so, one there. This you don't need for anything else, right? Uh, the beef. We're not cooking it. No? You're not cooking. Oh, we're it. gonna cook the. Actually, no, we're gonna cook the beef burgers. Remember? Yeah. So, so just put it on low. So did you show them what you mix? Don't you need your breadcrumbs? Yeah, I do, I do. Um, yeah, I think they saw a little bit at least. So I'll explain the whole thing. Where's my breadcrumbs? Breadcrumbs right here. Um, so he already added some eggs. He yeah. added some, he's adding breadcrumbs right now. And you added, did you add some seasoning to it? Uh, yeah, I already put salt and pepper in there. And I put Kerala pepper in there because Kerala pepper just tastes like the best. You did? Yeah, caramel okay. is the best. Uh, I didn't see you put the pepper in there. Okay. I put both salt and uh, pepper in there, and uh, put the eggs in there. I put some banana peppers in there, and I put the onions in there. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm just trying to mix it up. Is it cold? No, it's not cold. It's not soft. I mean, it's a little soft, but it's not as soft as you can be. Okay. Just smash things. Yeah, just smash it up. Yeah. That's the, the whole point here is just to mix it up. That's it. So the whole point of the egg actually is uh, it makes the whole mixing up of everything easier. Uh, it gives it a nice, it, you don't actually taste the egg at all to be honest, but it just makes the cooking much easier. I don't know how to explain it. It makes the whole mashing and the mixing of everything uh, really easy. Is it just eggs? Like can you mix, uh, can you just put like egg whites or like whole eggs? I don't know if you can because egg whites are just really watery, really liquidy. Okay. But the egg yolks are a little bit sticky. Mm -hmm. So not only does it make it a little bit moist and stuff anyways, but it makes it sticky too. And the whole point of this, especially if you're trying to make burgers and stuff, Price is you is want it to be sticky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's one thing. The other thing would be the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs really help with, uh, again, making it sticky and stuff. And it gives it like, a, when you make the burgers, like it gives it like a nice little hard slash crunchy texture to it to some extent. I don't know how, how, how to explain it, but yeah, so this is pretty good. Pretty good right now. Yeah, see this is this is mixing pretty well. The one problem with mixing beef though is that it just uh, it just remains on my hand. The fat remains on my hand and it's just so hard to wash off. Like for all beefs, even if you like this is lean. Um, I mean, it's still a little hard. We'll see though. Okay, so now we're gonna make uh, how many two burgers are you? How many burgers are you eating? One. You're eating one? Mm -hmm. Okay. I could eat two, yeah, two, sure. It's pretty big for one burger, I think. I'll eat two. I have eat two. two. Any other questions? Mm. Can I think of something? Anybody ask anything else? Uh, no, someone just asked the, the what the dish is called and yeah. The only thing I am afraid of again still for me is like the sweet thing. Because mm -hmm. I still want to have bank. I still like I, I still like to have something chocolatey ready. So I gotta figure out. I mean, the pancakes are good, obviously, but one they take a lot, long time, to, long time to make, because <clears throat> you know, and there's prep time and all that stuff. That's one. And then the other thing, okay, this is done, right? Why did you move this? Because it was beginning to burn up. Um. <clears throat> so one is it takes a little while to prep the uh, pancakes and stuff, and then and obviously they're washing the dishes and all that kind of stuff. Um. But again, like, yeah, I think the major thing is actually it takes too much time to make it. Besides that, also, of course, like, it doesn't necessarily have protein in it, the, the pancake. It's not like a protein pancake, per se. Even though I guess I could start making the protein pancakes with oatmeal and stuff. That's doable, because I used to do them in the past. 
So I could do that. <clears throat> Guys, just to know, he has something for the beef, but he's very lazy to find it. Like this for the it's party. Here. It's inside. We never took it out after again. Never it's right here. So you it's sure very works. easy. I mean, you've already started doing it, so. Oh, so the rice is done. Yeah, so, the rice yeah, so pretty much everything is done, except the beef, though. But of course, he already. Actually, everything is done because he already put his chicken in here to also yeah. steam up as well. So, you don't open it because if you open it, then the chicken will start um, losing heat and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So, the peppers. No, there's no peppers in there. No. So, the peppers are on the back. And then this, and then this, <clears throat> this is good. Little tape is to always put in like a little bit of a hole, uh, like mash it in right in the middle of the beef. Because um, this thing helps to, otherwise the burgers will, will become uh, thick right from the middle. So you gotta like avoid that if possible. Yeah. Your battery is about to. So he's washing his hands. Let's see how many minutes it's going to take. What? You're washing your hands, no? Is it still sticky? Oh, um, a little bit. This needs to be hot. Hot. Um, okay. So this, for the for the beef, we're going to use this avocado, avocado oil spray. Uh, again, same thing. It's avocado or it is avocado, right? Yeah, it is. Because avocado has the highest smoke point. I think of everything, if I'm not wrong. I don't know if mustard has higher. No, I think avocado has the highest. Um, so that's that, and I'll just uh, start cooking. <sighs> Should we start cooking? I can cook all four together, actually. It's easy. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. And then, yeah, so it's pretty high too, so I'm going to keep it up high. I'm going to put it at uh, four minutes, I think. Because it's such a big pan, it doesn't heat up as much. So, you know, put this at four minutes. We're going to use this... Um, the buns? Yeah, we're going to use the buns. Um, so usually he uses, uh, what's the other bun called? Kaiser. Kaiser bun, when he's bulking, because one of those buns are like, what, 330 calories. Yeah, 330 But now this, this one is, yeah, this is literally yeah. 170, so yeah, it's yeah. doable. So, so if guess, you're trying to bulk up, then you could use the Exactly, yeah. Other one. Use, uh, two choices will basically just keep on changing. You could literally eat the same thing when bulking and yeah, when exactly, cutting. Yeah. It's just like exactly, reducing yeah. the... You can eat pizza while you're bulking, eat pizza while you're cutting, bulk, but yeah. the base will change, the amount of cheese or the choice of cheese will change. Maybe this, maybe just, and, and literally, honestly, you don't need to make all the changes together. You just need to make one or two changes. Like for example, just switching the buns from that to that, literally it reduces my um, calorie intake by 350 calories. Yeah. That's it. I don't need to change anything else. It just changes that. My coach, uh, because I'm a fan of... Uh, um, medium ground beef, but my coach wants me to eat uh, lean, lean ground beef. Yeah. yeah, so that makes another change. I forget. Otherwise, this this thing comes out to be four hundred four fifty calories or something. I think. Yeah. So he wants me. He wanted me to change that. So I changed it to lean ground. Yeah. So you could literally eat the same thing, like have the same yeah. food choices, bulking and still cutting. Like yeah. Yeah. Because that's where a lot of people find. Oh, but now I'm I'm beginning to cut. Like, what should I have? Yeah. You could literally have the same things you're having while... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And for the longest amount of time, like you can make a thousand calorie deficit mm -hmm. and still be eating the same food all the way down. You guys, what did I tell you about him not using soap? Yeah. So, I got the... Uh, I think we're going to wash this one. The board... Wash the board.
This chopping board is literally one of the best. This is yeah, one well. of the best. <laughs> it's like a watch. weapon, anyways, but <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, so I, I think, I don't know who was telling me, my mom or maybe you, I don't know who was telling me to grab like a smaller one and I was like, no. Yeah, it was me. It was you, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, fuck no, I'm not going to get a smaller one, dude. I mean, this is literally where you cut everything. And this is the thing that you use all the time too. And even this, we run out of space even on this when we're making big meals. Yeah. So, I was like, hell no. I'm not going to be using a smaller one. Hell no. So this gets done over here. I'm gonna put this here. Um, Pat that shit up. Okay. Okay. Clean back the oil. We don't need this anymore. No, no, no. I might put it in the uh, rice, but uh, I'm eating rice. I'm eating, I'm eating burger, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you guys, we are going to watch, uh, what movie are we going to watch now? I don't know actually. I, Expand I, I the Bones. Watch, uh, Black Three. Cool. No. no. I really didn't like that Black That Black Mirror yes, we watched, it was, it was quite, quite, quite disturbing. Like, so yeah. Uh, watch that one. No, then no. Let's watch Expendables 3. I don't know if anyone has watched it. Tell us what you think about it. But, yeah, we are going to watch that one. Then, uh, yeah. Okay, so tell the movie we watched yesterday, did you like it? Equalizer 3. It was good. That was nice. Okay. But I don't think I have the patience for like a whole 90 minute long movie or something. So he's flipping it now. This, this beef is still good, yeah? Should be, I yeah. Should it burn in there? Or Nice. I should have bought more buns, do you know? Okay. What do you need? So this has his bananas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure we are done with everything. Do you need the peppers? Not the... really. Okay. Probably with a little bit of sauce on the burger, maybe. And I got the pickles as well. We could have some pickles. For... Oh, what's the number one sauce you swear by? Don't you want the pinks or the pickles? I bought pickles. Pickles. Pickles yeah. in the fridge by the door. Down. Close to the aloe vera. We usually ha don't you like it? Oh, I like yeah. it. You sweet broccoli and I do. Broccoli? Are you sure that's not what I am? For that. Mm. Let me try. Oh. 
Het werkt? Nog. Nog? Ah! Wat de F. I think I forget what the trick to this is. I think you just heat up, heat it up for like five, ten seconds or something, so then it expands maybe. The bottle, that. The metal. Ah. No. No luck. Oh. 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 What happened to your squats? <laughs> what does he have to do anything? I did keep. That's how you know yesterday. your programming is shit. I, I I did keep boxing yesterday, so yeah. yeah. My hand like it's gone. Okay, hold this. I know I can do this, but... Okay, so... He did it! I'll keep this, uh... I'll just keep it outside again. I'm gonna close the fridge. <coughs> is it tasty? Okay, it's really sweet. What do you think? Very sweet. Way too sweet. Mm. I don't know what the burn is. Wow. Sugar. Besides, it doesn't taste like sugar. It tastes like vanilla extract. Way too sweet. I forgot which one I got. I literally I thought this was the one you get. The sweet ones. Mm -hmm. well, not that one. Shall we add any for not? You want it to the sweet one? One. Or maybe they put honey in it. No, it says there's no honey. Please can I have some water? Can I have my straw? What? You know what? My straw. Oops. Okay, Google, what time is it? Hey Siri, what time is it? Right. Did you hear it? Hey Siri, what time is it? Are we done? I guess. So just bid them goodbye. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned a couple of things. So, yeah. We'll see you guys next time. The rice is done. Bye. Do your hand thing again. Sign up with your hand thing. <laughs> How do I end it? Yeah? No, X.